The thing is, is that the 16-inch MacBook Pro has been out on the market now since what, October, November 2019? And Adobe still has not fixed this bug with Premiere and it is costing me time and it is becoming a real problem. What is this bug? Well, let's have a look. So, here I am in Adobe Premiere. I can play a clip that I've got on the sequence or I can play it in uh, the viewer. If I want to view a clip close up and view it at 100%, this happens. That is a real, real hassle. And let's have a look here. This is another way you can make it happen. Crop. One, two, three. Problem. Let's just take that crop away and we're fixed. This is a problem that is happening on uh, Adobe Premiere GPU acceleration using Metal. This problem does not happen if you use OpenCL, but OpenCL is slower. And the other issue, and obviously it doesn't happen on CPU acceleration, uh, but CPU acceleration is slower again, which is a big problem, particularly when dealing with 4K video. And if I want to do a lot of intricate animations and other things that I might do for work. But for me, the way I work is to try and get things looking really crisp and accurate, and particularly if I'm uh, cropping things out or if I'm putting on uh, four or eight point uh, masks on uh, to effects or even you know multiple point masks on effects I want to be able to use the zoom tool to zoom in to see what I'm doing Adobe this needs to be fixed I mean seriously th 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 this is this is a problem and the new 16 inch MacBook Pro it's been out for three four months there's been a couple of updates to Adobe Premiere during that time as well, and this problem is still not fixed. Adobe Tech Support doesn't seem to have an answer, or they say contact Apple uh, and ask them to update the drivers uh, for the graphics card. This machine has got one of the latest and the most powerful graphics cards uh, that you can put in a laptop, and we paid for that, but it's still an issue. All Adobe has to do is update their software, but they're not. Why? Why do I? Why do we even bother still giving uh, the, or still using some of these company products? Well, it's actually because I guess we desperately need them, don't we? Uh, and there isn't anything better really available on the market. But it's a real bug, and I really do think that this needs to be fixed. I'm a pro user of Adobe products. Uh, Every day, Monday to Friday at work, I'm using Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, uh, Premiere generally two or three days a week as well. I use Premiere at home. Um, I switched to Premiere from Final Cut Pro when Final Cut Pro uh, 7 changed to Final Cut Pro X back in 2011 and I've never looked uh, back, but that's another story. And the thing is, is that, but yeah, Adobe's had its bugs and Premiere has definitely had its share of bugs since I've been using it since 2011 on Max. But in, well, towards the end of last year, I took delivery of a completely specced out new 16 inch MacBook uh, Pro. And the reason that uh, pros like me use these uh, really high end machines is because they're meant to be faster and they're meant to have features that save us time and that's how we justify the additional money um, that either us or our employers spend on these uh, machines. Uh, that additional few extra thousand dollars, if we want to buy a six thousand dollar laptop, if it's going to save us a lot of time with uh, projects by being able to render faster, by being able to help us use the programs uh, faster, that money is justified when it comes to machines for professional use. We're not buying these expensive machines for ego, we are buying these uh, machines because we use them uh, to make an income out of them. I mean, my home computer that I use for personal stuff is an entry-level MacBook Air for internet surfing and email, and it's great for that. But for work, a machine that I rely on is my completely specced out MacBook Pro. 
and I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro with, uh, well, trying to get the benefit out of Metal.